Hey guys, Stab in the Eye here. What I have today is the Master Lock number three. I've been working through going through my progressive lock list, and this is lock number two on the list. I picked this up at Home Depot today. Figured, let's see what it's like to open a new one versus an older one. This number three has been in a toolbox for years, hasn't really gotten much use haven't really picked it. I picked it in one of my other videos. Um, I just put some um, lubricant in it and we'll see how it goes. This one's usually not the easiest one to open just because these locks do get more difficult with age and yes a master lock number three might be the one of the easier locks to open in general but they do get more difficult with age if you got it positioned upside down at a weird angle. So we'll see what these take to get into. Okay, I'm just going to open up this one fresh out of the package. Hopefully we won't need these. Alright, so I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension with my 25 thousandths standard hook. And we're open. Not too bad. There's a angle of the keyway. You can see that this lock doesn't use a ball bearing inside. So this lock can also be shimmed open rather easily. Another method I like to open this lock up with is zipping, where you just do some light bottom of the keyway tension, put the hook in the back of the lock and just pull it out until it opens. Usually it only takes a few tries. Looks like this one doesn't want to zip open too easily right now, which is a good thing. Another possible way to open these is a lot of people like to try raking, where you just do light bottom of the keyway tension. You just go in and out. I'm not going to fuss with that too much, but that's actually quite surprising that this one's not looking to pop open uh, with a lot of the easier methods to get in. Now here's my older master number three. I can tell you that this one is a bit of a temperamental pick. So typically when I do it, I will do the zipping approach and we'll see if it will work right now. I just um, put some lubricant in the lock. If you can see, it's a little bit shiny. Just this thing, the pins don't really move too well in it. It's going to go in the back and see what it takes. And it's open. Here's a shot of the key here. Alright guys, well thanks for checking this out. This has been the Master Number 3 SPP'd 
and zipped. The next lock up on the list is the Master Lock 140, and then after that, the Brinks 40mm padlock. Thanks for checking it out, guys, and I hope you have a great day.